Hi, welcome to Pencil College. We'll move on to look at more examples from chapter 9.2, Circles. Okay, so in example number 4, we are asked to give the equation of a circle with line segment AB as diameter. So, what exactly is the question asking for? Let me give you a pictorial view on the question, so this will help you understand better. So, suppose we have a circle with line segment AB. AB, okay? So, you realize that the midpoint of AB is the center of the circle. So the midpoint of AB happens to be the center of the circle. Okay, and you also realize that half of the distance AB is the radius of the circle. So half times the distance AB will give you the radius of the circle. Okay, so we will make use of these two pieces of information to help us get the equation of the circle. Okay, so let us first find the midpoint of AB. So the midpoint of AB, recall the midpoint formula. So it will just be the x coordinate of A plus the x coordinate of B divided by 2, y coordinate of A plus y coordinate of B divided by 2. Okay, so working this out, I'll just get 1 and 5 over 2. Okay, how about the distance AB? So in this case, we'll be using the distance formula. If you're unsure of all these formulas, please visit, okay, please revisit the videos on coordinate geometry. Okay, so the distance AB, how we will do it, how we will find it, I'll take the x coordinate of A minus the x coordinate of B square plus the y coordinate of A minus the y coordinate of b square. Okay, and working this out, I'll just get the square root of 61, okay, and that's the distance ab. So remember, just now we were, we were mentioning that the radius of the circle should be half times ab, which is half times this, okay, and uh, I can just write it as six, root of 61 over 2. Okay, so with all these pieces of information, okay, I can now do perform my substitution into equation number one. Okay, so equation number one says this. So x minus the x coordinate of the of the center of the circle, so it's x minus one square plus y minus b square equals to the radius, which is just r square okay so r square would be r square okay and simplifying this i'll just get this okay if you're wondering how i got this equation over here i'm making use of equation number one at the top left hand corner of the screen so re recall that my midpoint is my center so one comma 5 over 2 is my AB and this distance, okay sorry, the radius is my R. Okay, so take note of this, substitute into this formula and there you have it. Okay, let's move on to look at the next example. So in example 4B, okay, this is given to us, so we'll perform the same steps. So the distance, okay, first let us find the midpoint of AB. Midpoint of AB is just negative 2 plus 2 okay and this gives me 0 3 and this happens to be the center of the circle center of the circle which is just a comma b okay next let's move on to find distance a b which is this Okay, and working this out, I should get the square root of 40. Okay, recall, sorry. Sorry, this should be 160. Okay, so recall that the radius is half of this distance, which is half times root of 160. Okay, and this is my radius r. So, let me just substitute into this formula. So if you have forgotten, let me just write it out for you. So x minus a squared plus y minus b 
square equals to r square. So since my a is 0, so x minus 0 square, my b is 3, and my r is this over here. And if I were to just simplify this, I will get x square plus y minus 3 square equals to 40. Okay, very good. Let's move on to the next example. So in example number 5, the question wants us to find the equation of a circle whose center is negative 3,4 and it touches the circle touches the y-axis. So what we will do, we will first try to sketch the given information so that it's clearer to us. Okay, so at this point, okay, negative 3, 4, 4, it will be somewhere over here. Okay, so this is the center of the circle, which is given by negative 3, 4. And since the circle touches the y-axis, the circle probably looks like this. Okay, something like that. So if you realize that, you know, the radius of the circle is just given by this distance. Okay, so let me just make it clearer. So this distance over here is the radius of the circle. Okay, and we all know that since this point is negative 3, the radius is just 3. So this is my radius, and so therefore I conclude that my radius is just 3. Okay, so let me just put down the information that we have. We have the center at this point, and we have the radius to be 3. Okay, so let's substitute these values. Okay, so the center is always in the form a comma b, and the radius is just r. So let's substitute these values into equation number 1. So equation number 1 looks like this. Okay, and since a is negative 3, so minus of negative 3 becomes this, and y is just minus 4, and r is just 3. Okay, so if you want, you can always expand this out to make it into the form of equation number 2. Okay, so for this example, let me just show you how it's done. So if I expand this out, and if I were to shift everything over to the left hand side and rearrange I will just get this final equation okay so this is the answer for example number five